Hello, this is Kirati from Aspire Square. And this is Vishal Modi from Aspire Square. So Kirati, what we are up to today? Well, Vishal, I have got so many students who keep complaining they are not able to improve their English language proficiency because they do not have that conducive environment. So, I also have the same problem complaining True. students. Now, what do we do then? Uh, seriously, what should we do? Let's give some tips. Let's share our own stories, how we have worked over it and improved our skills. That's a great idea. So I would like to listen your story. Oh. You have something to talk about and this is real inspirational. Let's motivate, talk to our viewers and keep going. Thank you so much. To be honest, despite studying in an English medium school, I was very weak at English. Okay. I, uh, my shyness had made me an introvert. But I was always sure about one thing that one day I will speak good English. I will be fluent at the language. Great. And later on after 12th, I got admission in a college where it was a compulsion to use English language only with the professors as well as the friends that I made. Okay. And that was a threshold. There was no looking back. One of my friends introduced me to a novel. After 16 years of my life, I got to know what a novel is like. And I started reading, reading, reading. I became a bookworm. I started loving that part of my life. And uh, I invested in an Oxford pocket dictionary. So whenever I got stuck with some words, I did not only find the meaning of that particular word, but also I used to read the words which are present on that entire page of dictionary. Wow. So that's how I extended my vocabulary. And there was no looking back. I was just on and on with my English language skills that I was developing and I was enjoying speaking English thoroughly. Okay. So what is your side of story? Of course, I would share mine. I would like to know which novel did you read first? I read 5.71 by Chetan Bhagat. Oh. So and that, yes, I loved it thoroughly. Okay, that has been adapted into a movie as well. Yes, yes. I did watch Three Idiots later on. Okay, great. So, your story is real impressive. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to talk about myself. I, like you, I have studied into English medium school, but same thing, didn't have the environment. Even the teachers did not used to speak in English. True. And uh, passing was like rot learning. You memorize your answers and just vomit it on the D-Day. True. I was again an introvert, was not able to speak anything many times was made to stand in the class to speak out but because of the fear stage fear or maybe you know public fear i was not able to speak absolutely relatable <laughs> then then there were many embarrassing moments very in much in many instances wherein people used to have a laugh riot when i used to speak out anything from my oh mouth. my god that's bad and there was a moment when i felt <clears throat> sorry I need to do something about this. Sure. I took it as a challenge for myself. I said I will not run away from this fear. I have to face it anyhow. And then this is how, this is the journey. I'll, I'll narrate you now. <clears throat> I took and all the opportunities. I exposed myself to English as much as I can. And I feel this is how you do it. Sure. Whenever you get chance, I have seen many students, they just run away. You give them chance to speak in the class, they will give you an excuse. They do not, don't have clear thought or they are not prepared, they are not ready. They will find any excuse and they will run away. So the best way to do is you expose yourself in the environment. Four skills that ILTS or PT checks, listening, reading, writing and speaking. You right. expose to listening to audios and videos. You Amazing speak, tip. you speak, you call to the customer care numbers. There are lists of numbers on the Google. Yes. Just give them a call. Push yourself to press English option, option and talk. So uh, I, I'll also share one of the idea that I follow to improve my speaking skills. I speak when I'm alone. People say that you do not have a mentor. Then how do you do it? But I have observed while speaking to yourself, or maybe your pet, you come across many words that you do not know. 
True. True. I, I'll share one of the example. Yesterday I was talking to my girlfriend and we were talking about a common friend and I just wanted to say, Look how much deep hai. Kitna gossiping karte ho apni girlfriend ke uh, Yeah, I, I love to gossip with her. And so, uh, but I was struck with the word deet. And then I opened my phone, googled it and found a new word for my vocab that is brazen. Wow, that's a new word. Please note down. So this is how you do it. You'll come across many words in your routine life and then go for it, Google it, make note of it, write down in your notes as you used to do looking for the dictionary and added your words into your vocabulary. Right. Well, I have improved my listening skills by listening English songs. My day starts with English songs and ends with English songs. I have a habit of singing along. Okay. So that's how I have improved my pronunciation part. Seriously? And yes, and I have also uh, learned music. Wow. Um, that's how, you know, practice makes perfect as they say. And it is very correct. It takes time. But... Um, your hard work pays. So uh, then for reading, I always keep a book handy. So when uh, you'll always find one good book in my purse, it is always Bhagavad Gita or any other self-help books. So whenever I get even for five minutes, I just open that book and I read whatever I can grasp from that. So that keeps me motivated for the day and I feel positive. And for writing, I have a habit of writing a, my own journal, my diaries. Wow. So, and it is kind of a therapy, you know, it heals me. So whenever I am depressed, I write. Whenever I'm happy, jubilant, I write. So, uh, you know, that has helped me again, improve my vocabulary, okay. sentence formation. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you write, you feel like you're talking to someone. So yes. now lately I have been writing up some blogs for our company. So okay. if you are preparing for your IELTS PT, please check out my blogs. Okay. Talking about myself, to improve my listening skills, I make a point that I listen at least one TED talk daily. That is awesome. That, that's my dose of motivation for myself. And uh, there are amazing TED talks. You can decide on what subject you want to listen. I would not advise the new English learners to go for TED Talks spoken by the English natives. Hmm. Rather, you can search for Indian TED Talks, wherein there are English pe Indian people who are speaking in English, which they will be able to comprehend. I feel it's very easy to train your ears. So, yes. one week or 10 days, you listen to the Indian speakers. Yes. After this 10 days, you can move to the English speakers. There are many movies that I advise to watch. For example, Finding Fanny. Yes. Hyderabad That's Blues. Yes. There are many talk shows wherein, you know, Indians, they speak into English, like Coffee with Karan. I love it. They gossip. and Alan's show? Yeah. Oprah's that, show? Yes, yes. yes. Awesome. So these are something which, you know, can watch anytime. You can improve your listening skills. As you talked about reading, I also like reading novels mm. and Chetan Bhagat is one someone you know you can you do not have that high vocabulary mm. you will be able to understand. I also do this thing that when I watch a movie which is based on a novel mm. I do both the tasks simultaneously. Oh, oh that's yes. a good idea. So that is easy to understand if you are reading any self-help book then there are a hell lot of summaries in YouTube. Go yes. on YouTube. Go through True. a 15 minute summary of it. You get the gist of it, the crux of the book and then start reading. It's much easier and easy to understand. Wow, awesome, brilliant ideas. Don't you think that? Yes, so let us have a quick uh, summary or let us say rapid fire. Sure. For listening, what do you do? TED Talks, talk shows. Okay. For reading? For reading, a good book. Uh, some good articles and blogs for, for writing for writing as you say writing a journal I also do one thing whenever I watch a movie I write it down the summary of it oh that's, that's awesome but a lot of hard work I must say <laughs> but that maybe that's the reason why you know you are so good at English thank you and how about speaking for speaking I talk 
I speak, right? I speak to anyone, whosoever I meet, only in English. Like I, like mm -hmm. whenever I get a call from some call center or whenever I call to a customer care, I press English. Great. I would also like to suggest one more thing. Hmm. There is a technology at our end which is there to help. So there are this artificial intelligent applications, Google Assistant or Grammarly.com. Grammarly.com. So in Google Assistant or Siri, you can talk to them as if they are your friend. Yes, and you can improve your grammar back then. Yes. So, so that's the part. If you like this video, then please like, subscribe and comment what you have liked the most or if we were helpful to you or not. So signing off and we'll come up with some really better videos next time. So all the best. Bye -bye. Keep improving.